I was introduced to meditation about 15 years ago and I meditate twice a day. And if I ever feel close to knowing what God is, it's somewhere in the boundary of those, that half hour period, twice a day is when I meditate. The basic idea of the meditation I do is to quieten the mind, just let all that instrument calm down. And I sometimes have experiences where I feel a little out of body, a little time, ideas, a few Jackman as a father, as an actor, all those roles we play just seem to melt away. And somewhere in there is where I have some glimmer, some glimpse at what God is. And it's a feeling. And it's blissful. And it can go like that and every minute you try and grab onto it, it's gone. We're householders, right? You're a householder, I'm a householder. We're not people who are born to sit up on the top of a mountain and meditate, some are, and they're incredibly powerful what they do. But you and I, basically, we have a job and we earn money to look after family or whatever we give to society in whichever way we can and contribute. It's what in Indian or Vedic terms they call the way of the householder. But twice a day, even as a householder, I can dip into what I call that goal, that the substance of what is God and just bathe in it. I don't, it's a different experience every time, but I get glimpses of something that energizes me on such a deep level. I now, I'm not sure exactly what I'd do without that form of prayer. It's a way to be in touch with who I really am. I did a film called The Fountain. If you get a chance to look at it, it's his version of, I think, the meaning of life. And there was a, a truth in that, which is much of our life, our experience of this body, of being in this creation, is of duality. And that in fact, God exists beyond that. Or the concept of God or truth is beyond those things. As a child, God was very much me wrapped up in good and evil. God and the devil. And for many years I thought everything that was good was God and that everything that was bad was the devil. There's something beyond that. There's something beyond... I'll try and think of very simple examples. I'm sitting here talking through this body to you and the camera is seeing a form talking. And there is God within this whole entity and outside of it that exists beyond the words I'm saying, beyond the actions I'm using, Beyond the space, there is something linking all of us, that to me is God.